There's one particular shot in which Paige holds a Divas Championship belt to which she made, and there's two wrestler posters behind her, one of them being The Rock, another being Stone Cold. And the moment that I saw this, I just thought, you know what? I like this girl. Paige, I myself have come from a wrestling family too. I know exactly what it means to you. But don't worry about being the next me. Be the first you. So fighting with my family is essentially the biopic about the wrestler known as Paige. It follows her and her brother as they audition for WWE, her struggles going through NXT to her first time debuting on Raw. Alrighty guys, so let's get into fighting with my family. Prior to watching Fighting With My Family, I had not been a fan of wrestling in years. And in fact, the last time I had watched wrestling like an actual event was probably WrestleMania, either 2010 or 2011. So yeah, it's been a long time. But prior to that, I had loved watching wrestling as a kid and actually into some of my teenage years. I loved watching The Rock, Hulk Hogan, The Dudley Boys, The Hardy Boys, Goldust, Goldberg, Brock Lesnar, Lita, Trish, Stacey Keebler. I just want you guys to know my favorite wrestler of all time is Stone Cold Steve Austin. But I had watched the Attitude Era, the Ruthless Aggression Era. Those were the times when I loved watching wrestling. But even after all those years of me not being interested in watching wrestling, the story of Paige was something that I was really interested in. And I'm so happy to say, guys, that not only did I really like finding with my family, I loved. And I mean... I loved fighting with my family a lot. I love this movie so much that prior to filming this review, I had already seen the film two times. Starting off with performances, everyone does such a great job from Florence Pugh to Lita Heedy, Nick Frost to the guy who plays Zack Zodiac, I cannot remember his name, to Vince Vaughn to The Rock. Just to let you guys know, even though that The Rock is on the poster, he's not in the film that much, he's essentially a cameo, but really I'm glad that they kept his role that short because really this movie is focused on mainly the bond between Paige and her brother Zack, to which I thought this film did such a great great job establishing that bond but getting into it this really is Florence Pugh's movie and I thought she did such an amazing job as Paige and she did such a great job as Paige that I went into doing research about Paige's career after seeing the film and really Paige seems like one of the coolest people out there. Florence Pugh not only brings the drama to this role, but she really does a lot of great comedy, especially in a scene where she's in a promo class. I found myself laughing my ass off. Not just that, but I found Paige to be so relatable, even though I have not wrestled once in my life, but seeing her act on stage, trying to get the crowd going, and seeing her choke and being in stage fright, I just, I found myself relating to her so well to the point where she was on stage, I felt terrible for her and during those times my heart was pounding going like come on Paige say something please Nick Frost and Lahiti were great as the parents they brought a lot of great comedy and such great dramatic force as well and going into Vince Vaughn I feel like this is easily his best performance since Hacksaw Ridge I mean I have heard him doing great things since Hacksaw Ridge but I hadn't seen Soul or Braun Subblock 99 I think that's what it's called but not only does Vince Vaughn bring great comedy but there is a moment in this film in which he does a great monologue about superstars and enhancement people that are brought to WWE and hearing his monologue like it just I was like holy crap I just it reminded me of why Vince Vaughn is actually a great actor and going into the comedy this film when the comedy is brought in it works and I was laughing my ass off because really first and foremost this movie really is a biographical drama with some humor sprinkled in and when the humor is in there it works it never falls flat there are moments of this film when it comes the drama that there will make you want to cheer there are moments of heartbreak and there is one particular moment in the end because i didn't know because like i said before guys i didn't know anything about the career of Paige. so when i saw the climatic scene i was in tears by like i was straight up crying this movie hit me hard but really the best thing about fighting with my family and like i mentioned before to you guys i had not been a fan of wrestling in years but really watch this movie Maybe I want to get back into wrestling again. I had uh, talked with my buddy Jerome for hours on it about not only the attitude error, but the ruthless aggression. And not just that, but I had got back into watching wrestling. I mean, not just old matches, but I started watching some newer matches. But getting to the point, not only do I feel like that huge wrestling fans will love this movie, but even non-wrestling fans like myself will really love this movie too. <laughs> 
my only flaw of this movie, and this does not hold this movie back whatsoever, I want there to be more. Like, seriously, this movie was only an hour and 40 minutes. I could have gone for over two hours of this movie. So overall, guys, I absolutely loved fighting with my family. As a person that has not watched WWE in the longest time, I found myself loving Paige's story. Not only that, I found myself connecting with Paige on a much more personal than I expected. As a person that has not watched or has not even really been a fan of the WWE in quite some time, this movie honestly got me back to talking not only about WWE, but it got me back to kind of actually watching wrestling again. So all in all, I'm going to give Fighting With My Family a 5 out of 5 stars. I really love this movie, guys. Seriously, guys, and I really mean it when I say this. Whether you love wrestling or that you haven't been a fan of wrestling, I feel like that really both groups will like this movie or love this movie. I already got so comment out. Let me know below. For all of you wrestling fans out there, who is your favorite wrestler of all time? Mine, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Yours? Let me know below. If you guys want to follow me on social media, I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Twitch. I'm also on Snapchat and Stardust. So if you guys want to follow me on all those social media platforms, all the links and usernames are in the description below. I hope you guys enjoyed my review of Fighting With My Family. If so, please hit that like button, share, and subscribe. Also, don't forget to hit that notification bell for whenever a new video for me goes live. If you guys want to see any of my previous two reviews, please click either the left or right side. And of course, until the next review, I'll see you guys next time.